political science and philosophy major. And I think this is important because a lot of the questions that I've gotten over the years is, hey, Thomas, um, want to be a data engineer, want to be a data scientist, you know, want to be insert, you know, software engineer. Mm -hmm. And it's what degree, you know, it's, 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 we almost get paralysis analysis over if I, if I don't choose the right degree, I'll never get there. And so you're saying you went from, you know, you graduated with a philosophy degree and, you know, decided, Hey, you know what, working to tech, tech support at school and you kind of transition. How long did it take you to make that transition? Did you say, was that a year to two years before you were yeah, employed good question. a startup? Yeah. So I graduated and then I worked for a year um, in a role at the school that was basically uh, kind of like an IT support role for one of the offices there. Um, and after a year of doing that, I got a job in um, in Philadelphia as a support engineer for a startup uh, called Curolate. I think they're still around, but it's been a few years since I've checked in on that. Um, and that role, I was in that role for like a year and a half, I think. And um, while I was doing that, it was a lot of trying to learn things about AWS, trying to learn things about SQL, more of the data warehousing that the company was doing. Um, and when they brought on a full-time data scientist at the time who was leading their kind of data um, initiatives, I tried working a little more closely with, uh, with him so I could get more experience in that area. And eventually, um, when that team grew a little bit, I was one of the first people to move over there and um, start helping manage a lot of the, the data needs that the company had. Um, so I worked with him pretty closely and some of the new team members. And that's where I think my like real tech career, I guess, kind of got its start um, just because it's it's sometimes pretty hard to move out of those support roles into uh, roles that have, you know, uh, I guess maybe more credential and weight when it comes to looking around, doing job interviews and stuff like that for, um, for data engineering roles. Uh, I think you can get a little more cred from that title sometimes than uh, support roles just because it's hard to make that transition. And uh, I got lucky being able to do that internally first. Well, and I mean, it's, it, I think it's, the proof is in the numbers, right? If, you know, if you're driven and, you, and you're looking to grow your career, you can look at the salaries, right? From tech mm -hmm. positions. And, you know, a lot of it has to come with that skill set that's, that's, it's needed in the marketplace, right? Mm -hmm. It's a scarce resource. So tech, um, so for, for folks in the audience here, you know, because I, I had a similar transition, you know, in that I, I was a CIS major, but I came in as a web developer and went to data engineer. And, you know, for me, the process was, I begged to get on a couple of projects. I volunteered some time. I learned, you know, I learned in my, um, in my free time that I had to, 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 to get those skills. So, you know, you were, you're working tech support. Was it something you were actively working with your manager or your leadership to say, Hey, I, I'd like to move more on this mm -hmm. side. I'm volunteering. What was, how did that work? Yeah, good question. So definitely, um, definitely similar situation for me where, um, it was, you know, a lot, it ended up being a lot of extra work, just learning the skills that I needed to do anything in that in more data engineering role. Um, so I, I was already doing a little bit with SQL because part of that support engineering role was going into product databases, doing some research on clients information and pulling reports for them um, in a way that the product that they were building currently didn't support. So I kind of had to do some ad hoc uh, investigations there. Um, but in order to move over to the data engineering role, it was even more of the understanding SQL, building out pipelines that supported um, translating data from one format to another or changing it around, summarizing it. Um, so that was a lot of learning SQL on the side or late nights. Honestly, it was a, a pretty exhausting transition because I was expected to like keep up with all my support engineering work. And then on top of that, start doing some data engineering work, um, even just to start that transition. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely one of those hard, uh, hard, uh, hard work transitions for sure. Was it worth it? Um, I think in the long run, for sure. I mean, it uh, it helped jumpstart a lot of my tech career, um, and I had a really great time with my data engineering manager. Um, uh, Yevgeny Meyer, who's, I guess I'll give a shout out here, who's an amazing, <laughs> amazing data scientist. Um, I think currently he's at a company called Guru, if I remember correctly. Um, and he's, he was, you know, just incredible helping me learn, um, doing my constantly tearing apart my uh, SQL pull requests um, for the new data engineering jobs. Um, and also just, you know, very, very helpful into what I needed to learn and helping me get those skills. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Um, and that's, I see it all the time. And I, I see it even in the small projects that, 
that I'm a, you know, able to work on or, or, or when helping folks is there's no guarantees in life, but, you know, taking, taking, taking a gamble with something that, you know, while your time is not a renewable resource, it's, it's really time that you're spent learning that, Hey, you know, if this technology goes away or this, this doesn't work out, you can take that and transition it to other, other aspects of technology. So I mm-hmm. think it's, I think it's important for, for, for folks to kind of hear that story. And I, I, I can't believe we're maybe five minutes into this inter, uh, interview and, and that's a story I didn't know. And it's like, man, you know, uh, it, I think it's important. And I would have loved to have, have seen this when I was in college or, you know, I, I did a career transition uh, later in life, went back to school. I think knowing these, these stories out there can, can really.